Welcome to Agent of Everyone and to a new service side patch that was released earlier today. Just like the previous one, there are a few but important balance changes that further tweaks the gameplay, so without further ado, let's jump right in. First of all, the Mangonel gets another tweak, this time with a few buffs after the big nerf that it was hit with in the last patch. First, the attack radius is increased from 0.7 tiles to 0.875. If you folks remember, the original radius of the Mangonel's attack was 1.25. Once again, this change might seem small, but the radius jump from 0.75 to 0.875 roughly translates to a 36 increase in the area of effect, which is significant. If we look at it from the other way around though, the Mangonel's AoE was nerfed almost 50% now from the original radius of 1.25, instead of the 64% nerf that it was before. In other words, although this radius change is a significant buff compared to the last patch, the AoE of the Mangonels are still roughly half of what they originally used to be. That said, perhaps the more interesting change that they've introduced is the 50% bonus against range units. Honestly, this might be the sweet spot for the Mangonels, as these changes should allow them to address the mass archer spam right now without being as powerful as they were against other melee units. We're going to have to wait and see how they play out, but I personally like these two changes as the developers are moving in the right direction in my opinion. The Abbasid Dynasty gets a good early game buff, as our tier 1 technologies from the House of Wisdom, namely Fresh Foodstuffs, Boot Camp, Preservation of Knowledge, and Grand Bazaar get their research times cut in half, down to 30 from 60 seconds. The devs mentioned that the other civilizations get to use their landmark bonuses immediately after aging up, and I think this change makes sense. The Holy Roman Empire gets a very interesting set of changes. First, they will now start the game with no gold whatsoever, down from the previous 100 gold start. However, they will start with a free prelate at the start of the game, which is massive. If you folks don't know how much prelates do affect gather rates, check out the video that I've made about them linked above. As a spoiler, they're pretty good. Another welcome news is that one of the bugs of the prelates getting stuck yet again is seemingly addressed, which is always good to hear. Moving on, the Mongols get hit with another two nerfs. First, the Mongol Yam Speed Aura now applies to units within the radius and no longer lingers for 10 seconds, which is an important nerf against the Mongol Towers. Furthermore, the Mongol Khan can no longer fire while moving in the Dark Age. Honestly, this was more of an annoying thing to deal with rather than being a broken mechanic, so I don't think this change matters that much. Regardless, playing against the Khan in the Dark Age should definitely feel less annoying now. Apart from these balanced changes, the Danube River gets a boar spawning fix. Two boars will now spawn on the island, along with other additional boars in the contested region for larger maps, which is plus one on micro, plus two on small, plus three on medium, plus four on large, and plus five on gigantic. And finally, the developers mention in the final note that they're looking at some shift queue changes coming soon, as well as some new rewards on the way. Well, that's all you need to know about the May server side patch for Age of Empires 4. I'm always happy to see the developers push out these mini patches, so I hope they continue to micro tweak the game with these well into the future. I am also almost done working on the food upgrades video for Age of Empires 4 as well, so be sure to like and subscribe to not miss out on that video or any other future Age of Empires content. As always, thanks for watching everyone, watch out for the manganels against your range units in this patch, and see you all in the next one.